Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Nonny Clooney, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the LV426, a colony of asteroids. Three asteroids currently, though there are more to be discovered, where we have been making our way into the future of about 437 cycles now. I have got two things on my mind today. Well, these are trying to take over Shirubi and get ourselves some gold volcanoes and some aluminium volcanoes back here. But secondly, and possibly more important, I want to take advantage of the oil reservoirs here. We've been trying to make some oil out of, oh look at these guys, they are enjoying their life. They've been taking the carbon dioxide coming from this coal generator. It filters its way down through the stairwell here. Stairwell, ladder well, same thing. Uh, and these guys have been eating the oil and sending it back up to be made into plastic. Now this is great. This is an amazing little system. It works out fairly well as long as we've got a steady supply of coal, which over on your kill we most certainly do as we have got uh, sage hatches here being fed dirt from our composters. Woo! And you might be like, why are you telling me all of this, Twitchy? Well, to tell this story, I think the first thing we're going to have to do is rip apart Uranus. Yes, indeed, we've had a rocket up here for a very long time, the SS Uranus. It really doesn't really do much anymore. If we have a look inside, nothing is going on. I'm going to press the X button. I'm going to make sure it's all on, and we're going to rip that all down. Now, I don't know whether we could just rip this down from the outside as it is. I'm not brave enough to make the uh, make, make the, the experiment today. No, no, no. I've put too much time into all this, and these materials in here. Okay, we got Hicks and Ash here, really getting to work destroying the insides of Uranus here. I think this is going to go really well. I was, uh, as I say, a little bit worried about destroying it from the outside because I'm worried about losing all of the stuff in here. And now that I've gone ahead and... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's the rocket chair? Where's the rocket chair? We, have we just earned some stuff here? I think we might have, but I do also need to climb a ladder. Let's put that up a high priority. No, we know not to leave it like that, though. Turn that back down, uh, and then hopefully these guys will come through, come back, fix this ladder up, and then rip these things down because it looks like we forgot about them. Also, sweep orders are good, yo. Okay, Hicks didn't actually need the secondary ladder. That's good. That's good. Okay, we'll deconstruct. No, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to cancel that. What's this made out of? What is this made out of? Sedimentary rock. I don't think anything else in here is made from sedimentary rock. Let's get the rest of this. The mallow seed as well might be a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to your kill. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I wonder if. Mallow seed. It says there's none out here. So let's have a look through our decor lens. Ooh, it's horrific. Where should we where should we hang a mallow seed up? Oh man. Oh man. Oh, it's bad. I mean maybe maybe try here. Are we are we actually gonna be able to overpower this? I don't I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. What did they make it out of? Iron ore. No. Cobalt. Co cobalt is what we're gonna make this out of. Okay, apart from 20 kilos of algae and a mallow seed, which, you know, we can deal with in a bit, we've pretty much emptied out this rocket. So let's do, remove this module, remove this module, and let's remove the engine. Okay, so this gives us a wide open new base to start a new rocket from. Bam! Okay, so I want to have a look. We could do the steam engine, but like, we seem to be space above rocket block. I don't, I don't understand. There's, it's bound to be something else, right? It's going to be like, I don't know, refined metals or something like that. Uh, but the one that I was really looking for, the one I was really looking into, I might not even have right now, actually. Oh, that would be very much a shame. Well, one of the things that I'm aiming towards, let's have a look at our research again. Totally thought I had worked this one out already. Small petroleum engine. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there it is. There it is. Ah, I, I was staring at it the whole time. Okay, we're going to make it out of copper because that's all we've got here. Let's build that. But of course, it means that I need a supply of petroleum. And to do that, we need a decent supply of oil. Uh, or, conversely, if we come over to Taranu, we could have a serious supply of carbon dioxide on the go. And are they still here? Oh, they might have died. There was a bunch of uh, molten slicksters. Now, molten slicksters, if we go through these guys... Uh, if we have a look down here, there's a chance of them laying a particular egg. You can see the larva egg. Uh, this is if the body temperature of the slick there is, re is between 100 and 250, which is quite hot. Which is quite hot. But it makes this molten slick stuff. He's a cute little guy. Red. I love him. Uh, he will eat carbon dioxide and he will excrete petroleum, which to me sounds like a winner. But, but before we're going to do that, we're going to start the, uh, the, the me mechanistic way of putting down an oil well. Here we go. Now, it wants me to make it out of lead. I've got a feeling there's going to be some problems there, but, but also, 
This place is hot. This place is very hot. That means the crude oil that comes out is going to be very hot, and we're going to have trouble picking up stuff uh, with our liquid pump. Now, this one's made out of gold amalgam, so we can go up to 125, but you might notice this is very much over 125. So I was wondering, I was wondering, if instead of carbon dioxide here, we could maybe fill it with another gas, I don't know, steam, and then have some sort of cooling system over this side, or perhaps actually on this side, uh, where we just cool the atmosphere, just try and keep it down below um, 125. Ideally, ideally, we'd actually replace this pump with a with a steel one we can do that we can we can totally do that but it sure means we've got some conditioning to do over here okay we're definitely gonna have to move this gas reservoir what happens if i just break it i, I don't i don't want to find out let's cancel the deconstruct we need we need to uh to canister up these canister up this gas and move it somewhere else or put another reservoir elsewhere and just uh just pump it to it yeah let's do that instead Okay, so for all of this to happen, we're going to have to at least move ourselves a bunch of steel over this way. Uh, we want to have, is it the power? Yes, indeed. Steam turbine. We want to have at least five, uh, 800 kilograms of some refined metal over here. And of course, we're then going to need enough for the pump here. Steel, 400. Okay, okay. Wait, this one's this one's power power sorry just came back and saw that I, i've come over here to set those uh, requirements that i just said uh, it would be really nice if we could set how much steel we'd send across this this tells me there's zero in there hmm well i mean we've got a plenty we've got plenty out here yeah i wish we could like set a certain amount right here and then it would stop asking after that amount instead we're just gonna have to send a whole bunch Okay, I was not expecting it to need power. Should we? Uh, 240? That's not That's not much. That's not much. Where are we supposed to put it into? It doesn't, it doesn't actually have a slot. What? <laughs> well, I guess we're just, just going to tack on a whole new system, right? I mean, what what else would we be doing? I mean, may maybe maybe it's there. Who knows? Ah, uh, uh, I just spent time putting that wire in. It's not it needs power. It's no power consumers. Ah, uh, that's because it wants to have stuff added on top of it. Oh, I was kind of hoping that this would be the point to put the spacefarer module on. Hmm. It says space above rocket blocks, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it too heavy? The the all the tool tips in this game haven't quite been worked out yet, so it's uh, it's it's tough. It's tough. I mean, looking down the stats, we've still got plenty of height, we've got burden, potential fuel range might be a problem, but like, surely, surely that would only happen if, uh, if, if we couldn't put more, uh, if we couldn't put fuel in, but we could, we could put fuel in. So today I learned something. If you have a look on the F6 menu, this is the way all the liquid pipes go. You can see that an oil well is requiring a pipe coming uh, coming into it. It is a feed of water. This is what this pipe up here is all about. We're going to be taking water from the main line and pumping it into our crude oil over here. The problem is, problem is, if we run down this line and just have it in the hot here, eventually it's going to warm up to a point where it will uh, flash into steam. So I have discovered that you can put a tile right here it was going to be a bit of a problem because uh, we would need to have a uh, a pipe segment either here or up here but it turns out no i could put that there that that's great that's great so it should mean that we can move the liquids in from the top here let's just pop this in like this if you're wondering what this is all about oh we're gonna have to come down one more aren't we uh this is to stop the natural gas flooding out of here and this is where the steam's gonna live i don't know whether this is actually a great idea because we're gonna have a hot pocket and a cold pocket uh, i am making it out of obsidian so hopefully the transfer of temperature is it's you know free and easy but we'll have to see now we'll have to see how it goes down here i'm gonna have a door with an air, with a thermo sensor on it if it gets too hot the door shuts and people can't come in and deal with stuff I, I think that's a good idea until we get the actual thermo regulation sorted which we can't do until we get enough plastic and the plastic it's not it's not going great if i'm to be honest with you it's not going amazing Unlike the moving of the gas pipes, which is going very amazing. And yes, the chlorine is now moving to this upper area, upper reservoir up there, so we can get rid of it. We can no, no longer have to worry about it, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's actually quite hot, but you know, pretty cool. And so because we can't get enough power, uh, sorry, enough plastic together at any one time, I think we're going to have to start letting this out earlier. So I'm going to break this pump if people aren't running around in front of it. Uh, I'm going to deconstruct this pump. With the power of the copy button, we're going to get a steel one selected and be ready to place that in, in uh, instead. Uh, it can deal with a much higher temperature. As you can see down here, thermal overheat temperature of 200 degrees C, much more than it would normally be. You can see the 750, 275. What a great temperature. Hopefully, we're not going to be facing temperatures coming anywhere near higher than that. Uh, hopefully, we're dealing with just like about 150, maybe 200 uh, if we're looking to be efficient with the steam. But I'm, I'm probably not, to be honest. I'm probably not. 
Okay, 275 on the overheat temperature there. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm next going to be digging my hole down this way. I was going to build it kind of from the side, but I thought, no, why would I bother with that? I can come down, replace this tile, and then uh, build the pipe, and then do that all the way up. Tile, pipe, tile, pipe all the way. That, that should work out right. I wonder at what point steam stops being steam and turns into water. It's obviously not uh, 65 degrees. Okay, so we've got a door nicely going in place, but we've got a problem. Nobody seems to have the super hard digging, which uh, is a bit of a, a bit, bit news to me. I'm fairly sure. Oh, look. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, it looks like Eric's ready to go up there. Let's, just, let's do it. Let's just pop him straight up to it. Brilliant, wonderful, and amazing. Oh, of course, take takes him a while, and these guys have escaped. No! I might actually have to put some mesh tiles up here to stop them escaping. It's a shame because I've literally just expanded their room to be big enough for them not to be cramped. Hmm, okay, we'll have to figure something out. Well, at least they're all on the right side of the door now that it's been made. Okay, the automation that we have set up right now is if we are below a certain temperature and if we have a certain amount of liquid in here so that it's full all the way to the top of the door, the door will open and spill out. Now, that is not the situation we're going to use straight away. I'm not sure if I want you digging through there right now. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's uh, let it happen. Uh, that's not what we're going to do straight away, though, because, of course, we need to let a little bit of the crude oil out first so that we can get a little bit of plastic production underway which of course means just knocking this particular block out here we're gonna have to wait for uh, i think it's randomers or maybe Erat himself come down and dig it through okay we should be away now uh what's stopping this door open i know what's stopping this door open the fact that i've not connected this wire up i purposely left it disconnected so that we could uh, above zero uh so that we could uh, open and close the door but now i've got this manual airlock here for that reason ah oh, man also to try and get did you did you see him there did you see him i don't know we'll leave the door open for a bit and then we'll try closing it we'll see we'll see if we can somehow keep him out of that little spot Okay, open. Uh, all right, cool. Now now that he's free, if we go auto, do you reckon, do you reckon we're going to be able to keep him out of there? I don't know. I reckon they're all going to get caught in there this time. I mean, it's pretty good. At least he's free, starving. Oh, man. Oh, no. It, that's that's not great. Let's try again. <laughs> this is going to take a few goes, you know. Ah, uh, we caught one of them actually in there this time. This guy might prove to be a little saga all unto himself. I don't know whether we're going to be able to uh, do it on camera, but I'm going to carry on trying to let him free. 130 degrees. It's going to get hot down here. Okay, maybe whilst Honza's here distracting them is the time. Okay, fingers crossed. Nice. Okay, automation's in place. This now opens. Ah, oh, that's a really bad thing. I mean, is it is it a really bad thing? It's going to be a thing that happens a lot. So, hmm, this might have backfired somewhat. What's going on here? Well, we're going to have to keep an eye on what these guys are up to. Let's uh, bump this dig up, or this order up as well. Maybe we can get the copper well built. It says there's not enough copper here, but I, uh, I very strongly disagree very strongly disagree oh no oh we've got a big problem though. i completely forgot about the crude oil is coming through here very hot and why is it being dumped out what's up with that um no okay i, I like really guys like really i need these done you can definitely see me moving these atmosphere checkpoints up here somewhere Okay, everyone's now complaining about how hot it is down here. We definitely need to uh, to make a move. I'm clearing out these ladders here to move the atmosphere checkpoints over here. I don't know why I didn't consider the fact that we're moving hot liquids. Ah, uh, just wait until the actual oil well gets up and running. So we've definitely got an issue here. It's uh, just opening and closing because of this little connection how much is it jumping up to let's uh, let's only say if over a hundred kilos let's let's try this instead also man the the slicks are just running them up here okay so that will work that will work uh let's say 10 and let's see what happens then because of course we need to let these guys out one of the upsides though we've got all this carbon dioxide coming spewing out that's great I think I'm gonna have to disable the auto repair. It's getting a little strong, a little strong. So can we rearrange this area a little bit? Maybe move the oil refinery down here so the hot oil is not moving so far. Put the polymer press back up this way. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're gonna do that if we can. Okay, we just had people trying to go down here without the atmosphere suits on. Of course they would, I've not told them not to. Uh, I'm also putting this uh, 
the mesh tile and back underneath this uh, polymer press because it's quite important that the plastic gets made. With plastic, we can have some cooling. Just had a flooding warning and got called over to this beautiful situation going on here. Of course, we've got more ice melting. That's fine. It's coming down here. It's uh, being used by the system. At some point, we're really going to have to put a filter on here. We, uh, we we do have a bit of brine down in the uh, in the waste tank here. So some stuff has been getting through. I mean, like, look, brine everywhere. Anyway, we're, we're dealing with stuff over here. I, I never understand how a door has an overheat damage. Okay, I'll just I'll put any door in. Okay, let's see if the mechanized airlock has a, uh, a, a temperature overheat. I, if it does, I've made out of gold amalgam, so it's higher, but it, it's, it doesn't mention anything anywhere. Whereas this door does, okay. Well, I think this is the time for drawing lines. Drawing the line of heat. This is going to be the area here where we're going to stop the heat creeping back up. I'm going to put a little uh, polymer press down here. I'm not sure how hot the petroleum's coming out. 52 is pretty hot. That, that, that should be okay, though. We'll put, we'll make one of those over here somewhere. It's not going to be able to do that like, like that. Uh, and then it can drain its uh, steam, uh, hopefully condensing on the tiles up here into the water beneath. This is F9 on crude oil but I, you get the, get the idea somehow this grooming station isn't flooded i kind of thought it would be that's why i'm trying to like push this tile over and maybe destroy that ethanol somehow i might even knock out this rust block and try and keep pushing the ethanol down we're, we're getting a bit, little bit of a little bit of a pressure up here it'd be nice right Oh dear, I think we pushed them a little bit too hard. We've got people falling asleep and they're hungry, oh no. But if what we had uh, before was a fair plastic output, we now have a uh, plastic output. It's coming through quite nicely. We're building up, of course, towards the amount of plastic that we need for our steam turbine, which we appear to be there. All right, beautiful. Well, we are definitely looking to put one of these right here. Okay, let's try something like this. There we go. It's got its own little room. We'll dig it out. We'll flood it with some gas or other. And we will use the Thermo Aqua Tuner when we've got enough uh, enough iron ore, maybe. I think it's going to have to be iron ore. We've got, we've got people coming through to dig some of it out here. When we've got enough iron ore, we will definitely put a Thermo Aqua Tuner down here as well. And we'll get some super chilled liquids to send around and cool down this entire place. We'll probably actually make this area out here uh, cool again. If we can, yeah, as, as cool as we can get it. You know, definitely gonna have to go excavating for some of these deep resources just to go around and p uh, pick up everything that is left here. The problem is, of course, that we have started to make use of almost everything we had in the starting biome. So uh, the, the actual raw ores are quite hard to come by. We've, uh, we've refined a fair few of them. Let's send a bit more steel through for the aqua tuna. Why, why not? Why not? I was gonna go dig up a whole bunch of stuff over here, but no, but no. It's also amazing how much fertilizer looks like iron ore. Ooh, it gets me. Ooh, the steel's come through. Well, I was wondering whether this would happen first or whether we could actually mine some. It turns out this is it. All right, I've got a lot of wires to place now. Uh, pipes as well. And pipes. Pretty much an entire cooling system. At least we're getting there anyway. The Thermo Aqua Tuna needs a, quite a serious power system. So as you can see, I've ripped down the wall here because I want to take this heavy what uh, heavy what wire across the top. I pressed the wrong button there to copy it. I want to take it across the top here, join it up to this one that I've got going down here, build a little substation for the Thermo Aqua Tuna itself, figure out why we've got water falling everywhere. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to move this along one. Uh, and see you in a bit. Oh no, some water got loose. We've got a whole bunch of steam on the go. This is this is very bad. I don't know if you guys are aware, but we've we've had troubles with steam in the past. It just it gets everywhere. It it gets onto the wrong layer. It doesn't know wherever it wants to float above and below stuff. Oh, it's it's really bad. Thankfully, I'm literally working on the way to fix this, which is a cooling solution. <laughs> Oh, randomers, you've got to got yourself stuck in the most interesting of manners. Let's see if we can get you out of there. Uh, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't do that. We need to, we need to dig you free. It would be really nice if we could dig you free and build the wall behind you, but we'll, let, yeah, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. We're going to move you over here. Go. Okay, great. Uh, and then we're going to build this wall back up behind. And we're going to see if this will work. We're building the, the ladder to escape as well. That's good. That's good. Uh, it's quite a high density of oxygen in there. It would have been really nice to have cleared that out. But no, no more. No more. Okay, well, fair enough. 
no granite. Okay, all right. Uh, I'll live with that, I suppose. We'll set you free and we'll just let, let the gases be whatever the gases are. Well, we're almost certainly going to have to start with a shorter loop here. There is no way we're going to get all of this done in the eight cycle it's going to take for this guy to start after death. 7.3 cycles. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to use the pliers tool to split this loop here. Uh, and this will be passed down. Let's, uh, let's just make sure that's actually at a high priority. As you can see, I have highly prioritized getting the thermal aqua tuner up and running. Because that's how we start cooling this down. Well, we've already got two dead slicks, but I needed to open this door to allow my people through. Is this going to end up with another dead slickster? I don't know, but I really need to get this done. Is it worth killing them all, though? I, uh, we can always get more, though, right? I think we might need to bring a ringer in. It, these guys have taken so long. I'm going to go over to your kill. I'm going to come to the teleport pod down here. I'm going to go, hey, Hicks, could you do me a favor? Could you go and help out the other guys? I'm, I'm sure they can. I'm sure they can. Where, where are you? Where are you, my friend? You're going to be here somewhere. Oh, you've got a long way to go. Did I, did I interrupt you? Oh, man, you're like all the way up here. No fire poles in this base. I should probably correct that at some point. Okay, away we go. They, they need your they need your assistance, my friend. They need your assistance. They are few in number and great indeed to do. Okay, let's see if he's got the uh, got the work underhand. I'm gonna follow him around and see if anything important happens. I mean, he's got he's got the right build list, so let's watch it happen. So indeed, he's got in there and immediately started work on the steam turbine, identifying the things that really need to be worked on. That, of course, the floor probably needs to be put in place before it starts getting quite hot in here. Let's uh, up the priority of that floor relative to everything else. We don't we don't want people to be concentrating in the wrong place after all. Hicks, unfortunately, had just fallen asleep on the floor. We've got a bed for him down here. Oh, if I'd, uh, if I'd realised soon... Oh, no, that was Honza. Uh, Hicks? <laughs> sure, surely Honza will find his bed again. De def definitely a cl sign to him now. Whilst we've been waiting around, we've had a new addition to the family down here. Slickster Lava, beautiful. But we've got a bit of a problem, a very small problem here. The steam turbine lacks a colony... Uh, the, the local colony, sorry, lacks the electrical engineer. Hmm, I didn't even know that skill if I was to be honest with you. I had to come in here and have a look through and be like, well, where even is electrical engineer? Well, here's the mechatronics engineer just before electrical engineer. Hmm, who's our mecha mechatronics guy? Of course, it is Bishop. So my plan, my plan, send, send Hicks home, bring Bishop in. Let's do that whilst they're all sleeping, shall we? What a terrible, terrible overlord I am. Teleport, unassigned. No, Hicks, get on out of here. Schedule not allowed. All right, fair enough. I'll let you wake up first then. There you are. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. He's ready to go. We're having a quick look around. No, I don't, I don't want a Hicks. Thanks very much. I want to teleport out of here. We are going to send Hicks from Toronto back home to Yakil. Boo! Any moment now. It always takes just a little bit longer than I think it should. And then we come on over to here. Hicks is coming back home, but I want to use this other teleporter. As you can see, it is recharged. And I want Bishop. Bishop, my friend. We could, of course, send you via a rocket, but no, no. We are going to send you across the... the I don't know. I mean, like, is the Bishop that goes in here... The same bishop that comes out the other side. I mean, these these are the big existential questions that have to be answered whenever you use a teleport device. Because how how is this even working? Are we sending like uh, radio waves through the uh, through the ether to to be picked up by this guy? Are we actually breaking bishop down into his constituent parts and sending the parts? I mean, ooh, who knows? Anyway, Bishop is here for a very important job. Let's uh, let's grab him and let's follow him. He needs to come through here. He needs to put himself a atmosphere suit on because we need to get our steam turbine built. It is the uh, the, the, the pinnacle, uh, the, the the fulcrum, the crux of what we're doing here. That was a lot of words. It didn't necessarily all mean the same thing. But you know, we're just going to roll with it. Uh, we need the steam turbine to cool down our aqua tuner. And the aqua tuner itself is going to cool down this oil that is just being pumped in here. And as it gets pumped through, it took me a while to figure out the... Um, the, the, the pathing here. Um, once it gets pumped through, it is going through cold. It's currently coming through at 93. We need, we need to cool that down a little bit more. But of course, we are pumping... Um, oh, this, this bit. We are picking it up at 107. So the fact that it's coming through at 93 shows that the chilling is all working. Of course, once it goes around for a few loops, and we've only got a small loop here, so it shouldn't take too long. Once it goes around for a, for, for a few loops, I have asked it to keep somewhere around the zero degree mark. Currently going at 170. Oh, power. Oh, power. What's the power situation doing? Now, why, why, why is it bad, yo? This should shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I'm going to rip down some ladders and we're going to put up some some uh, batteries. That's the word I'm looking for. And we are going to make this all work. Why? Metal ores. We need to dig up some more metal ores. Look, there's some right there. 
Oh, oh, it's up. It's ready. It's going. It's going. It's talking about the temperature. The temperature down here is not hot enough. And of course, the fact that we've got these in the way is probably also causing a little bit of trouble. Let's put another one up there. And I, I kind of wanted to have this oil well up and running. What? Why is it not? 23, 32, 71. Because nobody... Oh, I put it down to one at some point. That's why. <laughs> Okay, it's got warm enough anyway. It is starting to turn over. The uh, the hot steam is being picked up by the steam turbine. It is then outputting the gas, the, the uh, water, 100, uh, 94 degrees, not 100, 125 under here, 94 being put out. This is being dropped onto the aqua tuna. That's cooling that down. But not only is it being dropped onto the aqua tuna, it's also dropping onto the uh, crude oil down here. So hopefully that's also going to cool it down. Look at the condensation happening here. Can we press an F4 and watch it happen? Look at the vacuum. Vacuum as the steam is coming in, being chilled down. It is dropping down. Now we're going to have a bit of problem with the uh, with the water here. I don't know how we're going to solve that problem, but we are going to try and solve that problem somehow. Oh, here we go. Bishop is doing the very important thing of building the, uh, the, the the oil well over here. This is great. The oil well, of course, going to receive water from the main water line. Oh, here we go. It's going to be shoved down here, put into the oil well. Every now and then, it's going to release a bunch of natural gas. That might be a problem, but that's why we've got this dividing wall here. So hopefully, hopefully, once this is built, I can pop another tile there. I might actually build a little, uh, dig a little hole here. Bam! If I do that, then the uh, duplicates can go in and out. But more importantly, all the gas is going to be caught there. We're going to have a problem with this corner here. I don't know what we're going to do about it. We'll have to figure something out. But on this side, we're going to have a, uh, a whole natural gas system. But we don't have time to do that right now. I don't know if you know how far along the red bar is. It's probably somewhere over here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm recording. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, we're, we're not, not going to be doing that quite yet. This is a problem. Oh my gosh. Okay, a little bit of tidy up just to finish off it. I want to put this door in place just to make this a sealed unit. It's going to get hot in here, but as I say, we're using the aqua tuna. I should probably show you the aqua tuna line. Uh, so it's coming in. It's getting cold. How cold are we? 80 degrees. We want to get colder than that. Uh, but we're coming in. We're getting cold. We are first chilling down this area. I'm hoping to keep this area around about zero degrees. It should then actually pass up here, cool down my uh, my plastic production and my oil production. But because, you know, we needed to try and set up this tiny line as fast as we could, I actually came down here and kept, kept this area cold. The reason I'm trying to keep this area cold is so we can let the carbon dioxide flow down here and not be pushed out by steam and these guys can get some food which you know job achieved right yeah i think so uh next thing this door here we need to uh re 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 hook it up because it's current oh actually it's all right it's all right it's below zero why oh it should be above zero boom slam door is slamming but i have noticed i have noticed wait 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 we need to leave it open because there are two things to do we need to dig that hole out you see that liquid line there? We need definitely to get that in there as quick as possible. Unreachable build, unreachable build. Well, I suppose we're going to put this, this tile in here, and we need to uh, need to move that, I suppose. Ah, oh, but the plastic production is a real. If we have a look over here, now you can see that we are producing. Where are you, plastic? We are producing many, many grams per second. We are making 500 grams. Um, I don't know. Every two seconds, by the looks of it. I'm not sure exactly how quick it is. It's updating, I don't know, relative every every update. Every update we are definitely making 500 grams, which is a lot. What's this guy doing here? Are you going to drown down there, buddy? Are you, are you stuck because the water's coming up and down there? I'm really worried about... Uh, it's vacuum, that's great. I was about to say, I'm really worried about what's actually going to be living inside here. Uh, it could be steam, it could end up being natural gas. I'm, I was hoping it would be crude oil, but actually, no. We've got a vacuum. I'm all right with that. Really got to do something about the fact that the uh, dining room is all the way over the asteroid from where they sleep. So they come up here, they eat some food. We're already halfway through the cycle. It's going to take them a while to get back. Maybe Bishop's not sleeping tonight. Maybe, maybe he's an all-nighter. He's like, yeah, I am the party. Without me, everybody's... Oh, everybody's asleep anyway. Okay, nearly. We're nearly there. He jumps into bed, but of course... He's scared of the duck. I completely forgot about that. Ah, oh, what are we going to do? We might have to send Bishop, set Bishop up his own little area. Ooh, yeah, I totally... Hmm. Actually, we, we, we've done everything we need, Bishop. Let's send him home. Oh, we can't. He's got... He's got some time to wait. Feeling like he's got five cycles to wait. Okay, I'm uh, just quickly noticing how hot all the floor is around here. Maybe you should have noticed this beforehand, but you know, we, we live in the, in the reality we live in. We can't change that. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of slap some insulated tiles down so that we can stop this place getting quite so hot because it's like 140 degrees here. 130. I mean, yeah, we, we, we could definitely do with chilling a lot down. Okay, I'm going to seal off this uh, this abyssalite here and we're going to cool down this little pocket it's, it's going to have exposure through this way and maybe we'll be able to bring it down to a relatively normal temperature who knows i mean what even is a relatively normal temperature when you find one i sure don't know 
Well, we've got more than enough petroleum backing up here. It would be nice to keep this in a tank somewhere and maybe, maybe at some point we'll, I don't know, empty this area out and start dumping a whole bunch of petroleum down there. But at the moment, I feel like we're doing okay with it just being in the pipe. At some point, we're also going to want to send it back through here so that we can power our petroleum rockets with that. Rem remember those? Remember what we were doing? I barely do. It's like two days later than it was. Ah. Oh, 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 it's happening. The oil well is up and running. We are pumping out some stuff here. I don't know what temperature it's going to be coming out at. I really would like to know. It would be great. Back pressure is building up. Heat production is a thing. But I, I feel like we're doing okay. Natural gas. That, that's where a lot of the heat comes from. Look at that. 238 degrees of natural gas. That's that's hot. I wasn't really intending to build a liquid lock here. But at the same time, yeah, I suppose I was. I was just trying to keep the gases back. So, uh, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't normally like using them. I feel like the, the game gives you things like doors. And maybe you should try and use the doors. But this, this just works. Try my best to mop up all that steam that was kicking around. Of course, there's a few not on floors over here. Let's go ahead and put a mesh tile in there. We've been digging up copper, so let's go and do that. If I get two mesh tiles in there, it gives us a nice little flat space here where we can uh, attempt to attempt to mop it up and mop the water up. Don't see the baby slick star, but more importantly than that, I don't see the sour. Uh, 68. I was about to say I don't see the adult if this is the baby. Where's the baby? What happened to the baby? It's not inside a door. Is there like some sort of overlay for this? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know what's happened to I really worry. If I hover over here, you can see the, the Slickster is green. This is the decor uh, overlay. This, this kind of shows a bunch of stuff. But more importantly, it shows where the Slicksters are. And uh, I, there's no baby. I don't know what's happened to it. I don't know when or where or what. Oh, man, this is this is really bad. I've looked behind tiles to see whether we've uh, buried it in anywhere. I don't think so. I, I'm not seeing it down here anywhere. Maybe, it, maybe it's behind like, one of these. No, 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 we definitely... don't know where it's gone. <laughs> oh well, as long as we can make this guy happy again at some point, then everything should be fine. Oh, need to remember that our Slicksters need a minimum temperature to live. 50 degrees. Okay, we're not going to drop this any lower than 50, it turns out. <laughs> Okay, we've got the grooming underway again. Let's wait for that glum uh, tag to disappear, and then we can find out how long we've got to wait until another egg is produced. I'm, I'm really sad we lost the baby. I don't know what happened to it. I really don't know. If, it, if it's in the video somewhere, I'll try and include it, but didn't see it anywhere. So at this rate, six cycles. 17 divided by... Uh, sorry, 100 divided by 17 is 5.8, 5.9. Uh, so it's going to take about six cycles to make a new egg. That, that's fine. Actually, we can live with that. He can live with that. Really don't know what happened to him. Oh, look, there's the molten slicksters there. I knew there were still some more around. And another oil well. Nice. Another one down the bottom here as well. Okay, we, we got a lot of oil to try and take advantage of. And there's no way we're only doing it by that. What we might do is kind of flow it all together into one place and then cool that flow down. Yeah, it might, might be the way. That said, look, there's like lava here, lava here. This is, this is totally uh, making this one section and making this another section, right? Maybe this one will make oil and plastic and this side can make petroleum. Yeah, maybe. Oh, look at that graph take off there. That is amazing. So we pretty much got ourselves a self-sustaining system of plastic running. And via that, we could also get all the petroleum we could ever want. Next time, I feel like I'm going to put, be putting down a petroleum generator bank down here. We can just drop all of the carbon dioxide on top of our slickster down below. And we get polluted water from it. We always need water. We always need water. There is but one thing. One th Oh, no. All right. Well, we can't. We can't do that. What's going on? Uh, an antiquated... While scanning the antiquated computer code of this machine, I un uh, uncovered some research notes. I did I have I never done this before? View that entry. Oh, that's words. It's word here. If you want to read it, read it. Okay, that's, that's cool. <laughs> just a lot of words. I will probably read those aside from time. Uh, in about three and a half cycles, I'm going to be sending Bishop home. But with that, I am going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time, where, as I say, we're going to put a petroleum generator together. We're probably going to go over to your kill, and we are going to make the petroleum rocket work. We're going to find out what we're missing for some of the larger modules. And, of course, all of this is in aid of getting to a Shrenubi, uh, so we can take advantage of the beta bees over here. The, the whole the whole radiation over oh, look it's a good job i didn't go looking for this there is a lot of rads there but also as well as that we've got a gold volcano two gold volcanoes and two aluminium volcanoes but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye <laughs> i love being able to see these either side bye
Dr. Techner's newest notes on duplicate memories have revealed some interesting discoveries. It seems memories can be transferred to the clone subjects, but it requires the host to be subject to a, to a machine that performs extremely detailed microanalysis. This in-depth dissection of the subject will produ uh, produce the results we need, but at the expense of destroying the host. Of course, it's not ideal for our current situation. The time and energy it took to recruit Gra Gravitas's highly trained staff would be wasted if we were to... Ex Derperate to these people for the sake of experimentation. Never seen that word. But perhaps we can use our duplicates as experimental subjects until we perfect the process. Ah, this is horrific. And look into finding volunteers for our future for the future in order to obtain an ideal specimen. I will have to discuss it with Dr. Techna, but I am sure he will be enthusiastic about such an opportunity to continue his work. I'm also very interested in the commercial opportunities that this presents. Off the top of my head, I can think of the applications in genetics, AI development, and teleportation technology. This could be significant financial windfall for the company.